good evening and welcome back to the horror and metal channel i figured i'd go ahead and list my uh, top 10 favorite title tracks from metal bands yeah that is uh songs that share the same name as the album uh yeah it was really hard narrowing that down to 10 so i had a few caveats first and foremost i'm gonna only include one song per band just to mix things up a little bit i guess i won't include songs that kind of sound like the album title even though they're not the same word for word like you know raining blood by slayer from the album rain in blood and also the song you know peace sells by megadeth from the album peace sells but who's buying uh just to narrow it down further you know i know this probably still counts as tattered tracks but uh just to you know it was, it was hard coming up with 10 so just to keep things keep things simple and I'm going to list a bunch of honorable mentions in the description below so make sure you check that because I'm sure I'm going to leave out some really obvious choices but anyway number 10 is going to be the song Among the Living from the album of the same name by Anthrax uh yeah that was actually the first song by them I ever heard and I was immediately hooked it really got me into Joy Belladonna's vocals and uh Scott Ian's riffs and Dan Spitz's solos Charlie Benante's drumming and Frank Bellow's awesome bass playing um, yeah, I love Anthrax. I saw them in concert a few years ago. They just tore it up, and when they played that song, I got really pumped. Uh, it's not my favorite song by them, but it is my favorite title track by the band Anthrax, Among the Living, the awesome song from the awesome album of the same name. Number nine will have to be Leprosy by Death. Now, it's an awesome song. This is my favorite album by Death, one of my favorite death metal albums in general, and one of my favorite death metal songs, I might add. Yeah, Chuck Schuldner's guitar playing was on point. His uh, deep guttural death metal growls were just phenomenal yeah rick rawls on guitar bill andrews on drum and terry butler on bass and that's not a stellar death metal lineup i don't know what is yeah leprosy by death check it out awesome album and the song leprosy is uh one of my favorite tracks from the band number eight bonded by blood by exodus of the album with the same name yeah bonded by blood probably my favorite paul bailoff vocal performance he was only on this one album uh, and yeah, he was just thrash metal incarnate. Um, he loved to sing about moshing and just, he was just so metal, you know. <laughs> um, yeah, Gary Holtz, one of my favorite guitarists. And uh, yeah, it's a great song from a great album. Bite of Blood by Exodus. What are we on now? Number seven is going to be Melissa <laughs> by Merciful Fate. Uh, great album. I love King Diamond. Um, he's one of my heroes, one of my favorite vocalists. Um, I love uh, Hank Sherman and Michael Dinner. They're one of my favorite guitar duo duos. And uh, the song Melissa from the album of the same name is a great, um, is a testament to why they're so awesome. Oh yeah, Melissa by Merciful Fate. Check it out. Number six, Ride the Lightning by Metallica. I could also went by uh, with Master of Puppets from the album of the same name. But I like the song Ride the Lightning just a little bit more. Um, it's the second song on the album and it just seems to be pumped every time it was i think one of the heaviest things they had done up to that point and uh yeah i love that guitar solo i love the lyrics about it uh a uh a convict who's on death row getting executed in the electric chair um yeah james headfield's vocals are just heavy as hell um yeah cliff burton's bass playing kirk hammett's leads uh even Lars Lorg's drumming um yeah ride the lightning by metallica awesome song from an awesome album i just dropped the booklet <laughs> oh well i'll pick it up in a minute um, number six, Seasons in the Abyss by Slayer, since we're not counting Raining Blood. Um, yeah, I love this song. It's the last song on the album, and, uh, it's one of their best. Um, it's kind of, the chorus is kind of a little more melodic for them. It's still heavy as hell and just venomous and just furious and very aggressive, but the chorus is, um, is like a little bit slower and kind of, kind of moving, which I like. Um, yeah, great lyrics as well. Very dark as usual for Slayer. Yeah, Kerry King and Jeff Hanneman's uh, riffs and solos are on point. Tom Mariah was still the voice of hell back then. Uh, Dave Lombardo's drumming is just phenomenal. Yeah, it's awesome song. Awesome album. Seasons in the Abyss by Slayer. Great title track. Number four. Okay, you know something from Sabbath had to be on here. It was a really hard choice between, you know, the song Black Sabbath from the album of the same name, uh, Paranoid, Sabbath, Bloody Sabbath, Heaven and Hell. It was really hard to narrow it down because I love all those songs. They're great songs. I've heard Paranoid way too much. I'm kind of sick of it. Uh, but it's, you know, the fact that I've heard it so much means it is still a great song, of course. Uh, but I think I'm going to go with Mob Rules, at least for today. It was the second album they did with lead singer Ronnie James Dio and the first to feature the uh, stellar drumming of uh, Vinnie Apice. Um, yeah, Tony Iommi's guitar 
playing is on point as always, just top notch. He's the riff master. Um, yeah, Geezer Butler's bass playing. Um, yeah, the Mob Rules is a great song. Yeah, no, technically, I guess the album itself is called Mob Rules, and the song is called The Mob Rules, but, you know, and I already said I wasn't going to do stuff like that, but let's not be too uh, pedantic about this. You know, um, don't be too sanctimonious, you know. <laughs> um, it's not that, you know, big a deal. But, um, yeah, it's an awesome song. Yeah, one of my favorite Ronnie James Dio vocal performances, one of my favorite Tony Omi solos. Uh, awesome song. Great album, too. My favorite track on this album is actually Voodoo, and that's actually my favorite song um, from the uh, Dio-fronted Sabbath, um, which was on, um, like I said, it was just on this album. And uh, even though I prefer the album Heaven and Hell slightly over Mob Rules, um, Voodoo is my favorite song from the Dio Sabbath. Yeah, but anyway, yeah, Mob Rules, one of my favorite title tracks. Yeah, great album, highly recommended. Number three is going to be Abigail from King Diamond. Oh, I love that opening riff by Andy LaRock and Michael Dinner. Yeah, kind of Egyptian sounding. I love the solo, and I love King Diamond's amazing falsettos. Yeah, what a lineup, man. Oh, my gosh, yeah. I love Abigail. This is my favorite album album by King Diamond, and uh, the title track is might possibly be my favorite King Diamond song. Um, you know, quite possibly. Uh, yeah, this album... Also includes the bonus track Shrine, which is also one of my favorite albums. Too bad it's not my own oh, my vinyl copy. Um, yeah, it's a really good um, it's a really good song too. I wish it was on every uh, version of Abigail, but it is on this one. But anyway, yeah, the song Abigail, which is the uh, eighth track, is uh, probably my favorite King Diamond song. Either that or Arrival, which is also on this album. Yeah, Abigail, great, great song. Gets me pumped every time I hear it. Number two, Painkiller by Judas Priest which was kind of possibly the heaviest thing they had done up to that point. Oh, it gets me so pumped. It's so fast, it's so aggressive, and uh, Rob Halford's high notes are just spectacular. Uh, K.K. Downey and Glenn Tipton's uh, dual leads are just, oh, breathtaking. Um, I absolutely love it. I absolutely love Painkiller. It's a great album uh, by a great band, and um, the title track, which is the opener, is probably my favorite, it's probably my favorite um, song from this album. It definitely one of my favorite title tracks. Oh, yeah. Love me some painkiller. Yeah, when I saw them live uh, a few months ago, uh, the drummer, Scott Travis, this was his first album with the band, actually, uh, Painkiller was. He was like, what song do you guys want to hear next? And everybody was like, including me, was like, Painkiller! And he started playing that awesome opening drum beat uh, that leads into the song. And oh, man, it was just, I was just in heaven. Yeah, I love Painkiller. Um, all right, anyway, before we get to the number one choice, here are a few honorable mentions. Um, Countdown to Extinction by Megadeth. And uh, Peace Sells Counts, uh, that's even better. That'd probably be my top ten somewhere. Uh, Long Live Rock and Bolt Roll by Rainbow with Rodney James Dio and Richie Blackmore. Um, let's see. Holy Diver by Dio. Uh, the Wretched Spawn by Cannibal Corpse. Uh, Iced Earth by Iced Earth. Uh, Burn by Deep Purple. And uh, all those songs by Black Sabbath. Black Sabbath, Paranoid, Sabbath, Bloody Sabbath, Heaven and Hell. All the title tracks this Sabbath's ever done are all awesome. So, um, and I'll leave more honorable mentions in the description below, so be sure to uh, check that out. Let me know what your choices are in the comments below. Anyway, my number one favorite title track is Power Slave, Iron Maiden, from the album of the same name. I love the Egyptian theme. I love the opening riff. Dun -dun 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 I can play that on guitar. It's really fun to play. I can't play the solo, but I can play the rest of the song. Um, yeah, Bruce Dickinson's powerful pipes. I think he wrote the lyrics to that song, too, but don't quote me on that. Usually Steve Harris writes the lyrics, but Dickinson does a lot, too. And I think he might have wrote that song, but again, I could be wrong. Um, but yeah, it's the seventh song on the album, and it's just awesome. And uh, definitely listen to Back in the Village first, because on most copies, uh, the opening like the opening uh, to the song, really, the Egyptian atmosphere, the eerie buildup, is usually at the end of Back in the Village. It's actually supposed to be at the beginning of Power Slay, but on most copies... It's uh, at the end of uh, Back in the Village. On the, on the vinyl, it's hard to tell, you know, my record uh, copy. But, um, but yeah, Power Slave by Iron Maiden. Awesome song by an awesome band on an awesome album. This is my favorite uh, Iron Maiden album. And I really hope that they play the song Power Slave when I see them live in uh, October. I'll let you guys know. Uh, all right, guys. Well, those are my favorite uh, metal uh, title tracks. Let me know what yours are in the uh, comments below. And like I said, I'll list some more honorable mentions in the uh, description as I think of them. As always, thank you for watching the Horror and Metal channel. I'm a Hellhound. Till next time. Later.